Hello everyone, and welcome to the modding series Creating Your Legion for Total War Attila. In this series, I will be teaching you all of the database modding skills that you will need in order to be able to create a custom battle overhaul. Today, I'll be teaching you how to create a variant mesh definition. This is the document that decides what a unit is made up of. For example, all the models will be going through imposter models, patterns and tints. All of these things determine what your unit will look like in game. So first of all go to your Steam library then hover over library and click tools. Scroll down until you find Total War Attila assembly kit beta. Now install this or if you've already got it installed just double click on it. This will send you to where it's installed. So as you can see we're in the Attila folder assembly kit binaries. Now scroll down to tweak.assemblykit.exe. This is the launcher for the assembly kit. Now that we're in it, you can see uh, there's, if you go to tools, there's Terry, which is either the campaign map editor, which is broken, or the battle map editor, editor I always forget. Dave, which we might use in a different episode, and this, the variant editor. Hi, right, now that we're in the variant editor, you've got this screen here in the middle where the unit will appear and you've got a list of uh, models you can use on the right. Now if you go to view, you can show the bones of the unit, like the skeleton, you can do free camera, uh, I'm not quite sure what help and plugins does, uh, you can, not quite sure what this does, or you can untick use HDR which basically just means the unit uh, won't look very good in the middle anymore so let's keep this ticked. Uh, tools same as before and file so you can create a new unit definition you can load one you've already made you can save the definition and the colors uh, I'm not quite sure what that does it doesn't really seem to work properly you can save your definition or you can load a uniform so if you do load uniform, you can pick a unit from here, pick what faction and like, or just pick the unit. And this lets you see the unit's uh, animations. So just left click and drag until you're facing it. Then you can zoom in with the scroll wheel, hold right mount button to go up and down. But anyway, so if you untick this bit called cinematic, then you can change the animation. So for example, just change him to the standing animation and he'll be just standing there. So anyway, today I'll be showing you how to create a shock cavalry unit and uh, like just axe and shield unit. I've already created them, so I'll show you what they look like here. First, the Viking Raider. So here you can see He's got hair, he's got uh, some chainmail from Total War Rome 2, he's got a tunic, trousers, shield, and an axe. And if you expand the base, you can see what he's made up of. So he's got stuff in his skin, because you can see you can expand that. And he's got stuff in his shield, because you can expand that. And he's got a weapon in his weapon slot too. So now, he's only got two different skin models, but they're both different and they're custom. So this is because um, this one has a belt, which you can see, whereas this one, the belt is part of the model. And in addition, this one has um, tunics, which this one just has a chainmail that's built into this armor. So because some of the models are incompatible with each other, you can just create these custom things, which mean you can have two completely different things that wouldn't work otherwise. So if we expand this one, you can see he's actually got skin. So he's got two different head models. Uh, you can add more if you want, but it all depends on how many actually fit with what you're making. Uh, he's got custom hair as well, so he's got beards. And you can expand this, and you can see... Um, he's got hair, like you can change his um, hair and he's got different color hair here. So the way the hair is, the color of the hair is decided is through this tint down here. 
So that's the RGB code 1073 and this one has the RGB code of 188-8042 so I'll be going through that later or as before with like the armor I've also got uh, helmets because if you look here this kind of hair wouldn't fit with the helmet the hair would just clip through the helmet so instead the helmets are an entirely different thing and I've got five different kinds of helmets uh, these three are from a mod uh, and then if you expand the helmet uh, I've got all different types of beards for each helmet so there's quite a lot of variety here and so let's just undo that now you can check out props I've got custom trousers for them which are just these two trousers and each of them has a different colour as well so you've got that colour and you've also got this lighter khaki tan colour and now it doesn't really matter where you put this like they're trousers but I put them in the prop slot just because I'm lazy you can rename it if you want but it's not necessary then clothing I've got so th this is stuff from Rome 2 I've got Britain chainmail Celtic chainmail and Celtic chainmail 2 and then for van braces these are actually tunics again doesn't matter where you put them I've got Arabian tunic uh, Belisarius tunic, Germanic tunic and cataphrac arm armor and then I've got the shield so if we expand the shield you can see it's all different types of shields because each one has a different pattern on it which I'll be showing you how to do and then I've got axes which are underneath here uh, let's just, yeah that's good enough so I've got Celtic Axe 1, Celtic Axe 2 first and Gatorix Axe which is from Total War Arena and then I've got two other axes now you might have seen that these two other axes you can expand them and this is because these have been made by Creative Assembly and they've got this thing that's called an imposter model built into it but I'll be showing you how to like create your own imposter models so that's the first unit we're going to make the Viking Raider and now I'll load up the other one the Valkyrie and so this is um, like traditional Germanic Valkyrie kind of so you can see they've got three different skin models um, they've got just one version of trousers which for which has they're all the same for whatever reason but you can see here color one color two color three this one goes one two three whereas this one goes two one three and this one goes three two one uh, that links to these colors up here like the factions colors so if we change this so color one is this so if we change this to red uh, the trousers should change to red and yep there you see whereas here because this connects to that they're still greenish or yellow I don't know then accessories I've just got basic it's called an E3 tunic I'm not quite sure why uh, then I've got two different hel helmets these this is just hair so I've got like these lots of shitloads of hair and then I've got just a ponytail thing then I've got the Valkyrie helmet which is a helmet that I'll expand it so you can see uh, generic spangle helm heavy with falcon crest wings so these are wings that you can put on some helmets they don't work on all helmets so and then I've got uh, like a ponytail coming down here so they're not bald then clothing I've got five different types of uh, armor then shield just got um, one shield and then a weapon uh, I've got a spear and that's actually meant to be a lance I'll change that later 
and they've got a javelin which I think I'll actually get rid of when we make the unit. Alright, so that is the basic unit. I've shown you how it works, like what's it made up of, and now we're going to create, um, we'll create the other one, the Viking Raider. Okay, I've realised that I've forgotten to show you how I imported the two Celtic and Britain chainmail models into the game, so I'll show you now. What I did was I went to Steam Maps Common, Roam 2, Data, Models underscore Roam 2 dot pack, the 4 gigabyte uh, pack. Then I expanded this, Variant Models, Models, Man, Armour. And I went to um, folder on my desktop, and I copied the URL thing, and I right-clicked on Bryn Chainmail Rigid Model, and I extracted it, and I did the same with Celtic, ch oh no, uh, Celtic Chainmail, and this. And make sure that you are extracting the rigid model V2, not the variant mesh definition. And then I went to text, and there's quite a lot of Celtic chainmail things here. Uh, and I can't be bothered right clicking on them all, so I just extract the entire text folder, which is textures. And you can see it's like 400 files, but it's really quick. And now we go to text and bring chainmail. And now we want Celtic Chainmail. So we'll delete all of these ones. And we've got Celtic Chainmail. And it ends here. And so we'll delete everything else. And so we've got all the texture files for our Britain Chainmail. All the texture files for our Celtic Chainmail. And so now we'll just go back here, and we'll get this variant meshes folder, and we'll go to the assembly kit, working data, and we'll paste it in here. Okay, so now I'm going to be showing you how to create that radio, radio unit. So you go File, New Definition, and you scroll down to man and you select the man template now you go to skin and you can put the skin here where it says skin but I don't like to I like to put it in the first drop down thing so here and so now you go across to the right where all the models are and you make sure it's on man and you change it from accessories and you scroll down to skin and now I already know which ones I want because I've written it down. So you can just search which skin you want. So Nordic Heavy and I want 02A and I want 02B. Alright, so I've got those two. And you can see they're just made up of the head, collarbones and hands. If I choose a different one, like this one, it's got arms, which I don't want, and the neck like the chest kind of comes down lower and this one it's got like the entire thing except for the legs I don't want that because it would clip with all my models so I just delete those and I just have these two and now I'll add the chainmail so just let's put it here uh, let's yeah here doesn't matter where you put it so because it's a custom model so if it was just um normal armor you'd go to armor and you'd like grab something like that um but this is a custom model i've imported so you have to right click on cloaks and click add mesh now do not click add mesh reference because that'll crash the entire thing got no idea why but just don't click that just click add mesh um go to so assembly kit uh let's just Total War Attila, Assembly Kit, go to Working Data, Variant Meshes, uh, Variant Models, Man, then Armor, and we want these first three. So, Bryn Chainmail, 
uh, Celtic Celtic 2 and let's delete this cross so we've got that now we want the tunics um, these are vanilla tunics so we just go uh, shit, we go armor tunics and I know which ones I want as well so I go Arabian tunic 01 cut uh, so I'll just show you the difference so right click on this and click add empty mesh and so then you can see like you get rid of it so the difference between cut and non-cut is this has like a stomach so it'll uh, properly clip and there's some weird stuff going on with the shoulders but that doesn't matter uh, okay, so what other tunics do I want? I want at Belisarius tunic game basic and again I want cut one then I want Germanic I want this one this one has a stomach but um, I guess it's skinnier so it works and I want cut a ah this isn't a tunic this is arm armor so you go up to arm armor and I want cataphract arm armor zero free chain okay and then do I want anything else? no, okay, so that's all I want here so I'll save the definition and I'll just save it as tutorial uh, reader and it says it doesn't have a uniform record uniform colors will not be saved um, I think that refers to this stuff up here but you just do that with pack file manager later uh, it doesn't really matter alright so now we're going to create the beard so we go file new definition and we do a helmet because a helmet lets you have the base thing and then all the extra shit so we want um, we'll go to hair beards and search at Celts not heavy hairstyle one and I'm doing it in the slot uh, this time whereas before I didn't so we've got that that's the basic hair and we also want uh, kingly hair and we'll get two of these and so as you can see it copies everything in there so now uh, these are mainly for if you want to put like a crest on it or like neck armor or a chainmail um, but we're just we don't need to add anything to that but for this we also want a kingly beard and this guy can have a kingly beard as well so now we'll do the tint color so I've already so if you click tint it automatically just changes it to white but then you click on it and you can choose the color so I want 10 like this is the RGB color so I want 10 7 3 and then you can drag it and drag it over here like you can drag it over the yellow uh, if you want to save it and we'll give this guy that color as well so now that we've saved it in this slot down here you still have it and now I also want a kind of blondish color so I want 188 80 40 and I'll save that over the blue uh, Oh no, I didn't want to do that there. I want so those two I want to be like this darkish brown colour. And these this one like completely different. I want this to be blonde ish kind of blonde kind of red, I don't know. Now the reason I've done it different is because it look let's just show you I just white. I mean that looks weird, like hair being one colour, beard being another colour. So it's better if um, like you do it separate, so all the blonde stuff together, all the black brownish stuff together. 
and then this guy just by himself but we'll give him the two hair colours as well Uh, and this percentage, I think, like, uh, what percentage it'll show up, maybe? Like, 50% will be black, 50% will be that. Uh, or you can just leave it zero. I don't really touch it. And so we'll save this. Um, we'll go to variant models. Now, I mean, I've already set all of this up, so you might have to create your own tables. Uh, folders, I mean, but variant models, man and we'll do it under hair underscore beards and I've already got it here Viking beards we'll just rename that uh, tutorial beards like create our own save alright and now we'll create the helmet the so new definition we'll do new helm new helmet misclicked on it. Alright. And now we'll do the helmet again. So I want Nordic Ridge 1 and Nordic Ridge 2. Nordic Ridge. And I want 1 and 2. So I want this one and I want this one. And we're going to add the beards to it again. Uh, we want the kingly beard. And I also want just these um, beards. So these ones helmet. That means they should fit with most helmets. Whereas these ones uh, say clips with the helmet. Whereas this one doesn't clip with the helmet. So I want... Um, and now I just drag that so I can see what's there. Also want light... Uh, light long and I want mixed short and oops uh, don't do caps I want at bub red sh short helmet short and so you can expand these and see like, there's heaps of variety here. I'm not sure whether all of this variety will show up. It probably doesn't. But, uh, you've got all these different types of beards. They've all got slightly different shades. Uh, you can't really tell the difference. Uh, they've also got different types of hair. Um, so yeah, there's heaps of variety of hairs here. And, oh man, now we've got to redo all of that for this one. I right, well... I'll just do this one off screen. Alright, so you can see I've made uh, both helmets. I've got all the hair in them and stuff. Now save this as um, just Viking uh, tutorial raider helmets. Tutorial raider helmet. Alright, now so we can go back to our unit. Uh, we go variant meshes, variant mesh definitions, tutorial reader, and now we ah first of all because we've saved it to hair beards, um it won't actually show up here yet. You've got to uh close the assembly kit and reopen it to make it update. Alright, so we're back in, we've just loaded up our guy, we'll go beards, then go down to hair beards, and search tutorial, and you can see it's in italics, which means it's custom, so we add the custom beards and the custom raider helmet, and we scroll in on him. So the reason we've done this, I explained before I think, because this hair would clip with that helmet, so you want to keep the two of them separate. Like all of these types of hair would clip with the helmet, so you keep them separate. But now for the next one, and so let's save this. Uh, now we're going to make some trousers. 
and now we could just put the trousers on here but let's say you're making like 10 units or so, like you're creating an entire faction, you might want to use these trousers for a lot of units. So it's easier to just create a variant mesh definition for it, uh, because that means you can have the imposters and the tents like saved all ready for it. You don't have to redo the tents and the imposters for every unit's trousers. So we're just gonna create uh, trousers and we'll go with trousers we want char fong trousers and now uh yeah you got that and we want eastern trousers all right and you can see this i oh know never mind and so now we'll tint them so I want this one to be slightly different shade of, like, dark shade than the other one. Um, I'll save that to there. And then I also want them to be kind of different shade of khaki. And we'll save, save that there. Alright. Uh, nice arseless chaps there. And so this way these tints will be saved for this thing. So you don't have to redo it for every unit. Like 10 of my units use these trousers. So I don't have to... It, just saves time. Uh, we'll save this models man trousers Viking trousers just tutorial trousers and then we'll go back to our definition and Alright, because we just added it, we've got to close the thing again and reopen it. I load up our guy and go trousers, search tutorial, and there we go. And so that's what our guy looks like. So if we wanted, we could ah, go to delete this empty thing, forgot to do that. Uh, we can give our tunics the colour, or we can just make our faction colour apply to them. And I'll explain the faction colour in, let's see, just checking my document. Um, in about like, oh, next episode, I'll do faction colour. Uh, okay, so that's... Remember this guy was made up of two sets, so we'll save this to variant meshes, models, man, what are we looking for, skin, so tutorial raider 1, because remember this guy, he was also, he, he also has this skin, so we're going to make that now as well. Uh, this one won't take as long. Alright, and I'll pause the recording and work out this. So now we're going to create the second version of that um, Raider Man guy. So we're just going to go to our trousers. Where's our trousers? Our tutorial trousers. And we'll go to shoes, like just the shoes tab. And we're going to add a belt to them. So I think belts are in accessories, probably. Um, yep. So we want a Germanic belt. Uh, oh wow, terrible spelling. Nordic belt. And a Roman belt. 
And so we've got those three belts, and we've got to do them for this guy as well. Probably should have done them at the same time. Alright, and now we're going to save this as uh, a tutorial belt. Tutorial trousers belt. And that's all that's different. Uh, we can load up... Where was it? Oh, whoops. Man. Uh, skin. Tutorial Raider 1. So this is our original guy. We're keeping the same skin, the same hair stuff. Uh, we're changing the trousers. Uh, oh, so I'll have to change, uh, like close it down, uh, reopen it so the trousers appear up here. So I'll do that off screen. Uh, what? Oh, we didn't even change that. Tunics, we didn't change that. Alright, so we, we're changing his armour. So we're just going uh, Nordic padded 01 faction. And you you can apply all your tints to this. So I'll just choose random colours. Because uh, my choices were pretty random. And let's get a bright yellow. Oh yeah, that's pretty terrible looking. That's good for me. Um, so you can see the reason we need the trousers, the belt, is because he's got like a space for a belt here, but he doesn't have a belt. So when we load up that trousers belt thing, it'll look better. And what else did we need? Uh, that's all we're changing to him. Oh, and we need to get rid of his uh, tunics because uh, he doesn't need any of these because they'd clip with his armour because this is all one piece. I'll show you. I'll do that, that, and that. And you see, like, all one piece. Alright, now we'll save this. Oh my god. Save tutorial Raider 2 and now I'll fix up that belt thing. I am back and I've uh, added the belt to the thing. So now I'll open tutorial Raider and I'll delete everything that's here. Delete, delete. And I'll go to here, and so we saved two units of skins. So tutorial, and so now you can load them both in, and they've got all their armor and stuff. And now I'll do their weapons. So you can see you've got weapon bone one. Ah, uh, you've got a shield, and weapon one, two, three, four, and five, and you've got these attach points. So shield, if you put a shield in here. You put it on attach point three, so I'll just show you that. A uh, shield, random shield. So it's not on attach point three at the moment, it's just lying down weirdly. You click attach point three and lie down like that, and that means it's properly connected. And weapon bone one, um I'll show you I'll put the link up on the screen where you can look for information on this. This is basically two hand weapons, spears and pikes. Weapon bone two, this is swords, axes, maces, like one handed stuff. Weapon three, this actually connects to weapon bone four. This is um I think like bows, bows and slings. And weapon four is actually weapon five. And this is ammo, so like arrows, stones, whatever. And so we're going to make a brick as ammo. We're going to make this guy be able to throw a brick. So what we're going to do, I've already opened it. I've gone to here, where we were before. Gone back to Attila. Gone to data. And I've opened this pack, models.pack. And now we'll expand it. We'll expand rigid models. We'll expand projectiles. And we'll go to stone brick small. And so we'll go back to this. 
and go assembly, get working data, variant meshes, variant models, man, and we'll just make our own thing called projectiles. And now we'll click on this and we'll copy the link, like the directory URL thingy magic. And we'll right click on stone brick small. We'll go extract, extract selected, and we'll paste the URL thing in there. And so it says one of one files extracted. And now weapon bone four, click add mesh and projectiles, rigid models, projectiles, stone brick. And so now he will, and now I've assigned it to weapon bone five, he'll throw this stone brick and we'll like configure that a few episodes down the road. So that's for the future. Now we'll add, give him some axes. Oh my god, don't do typos. Um, we'll just grab some random Keldish axes. And we'll also give him the custom Vercingetorix axe. So we'll go to man, weapon commander, because this is the directory from Total War Arena. And we'll give him Arena vs. Gatorix Axe. And that looks pretty cool. And we make sure that's assigned to Weapon Bone 2. And now everything in there is Weapon Bone 2. Um, then... And now we'll create all the brightly coloured shields and stuff. So we'll just save this guy. Tutorial Raider. Save over that. And... I've opened uh, models free dot pack, so from the same directory data, instead of models dot pack, it's models free dot pack. And this is how I do patterns for shields, there's probably a better way, but this is just how I do it. So we want data, we want so we just want to go to variant meshes this time and we copy and paste Oh, actually I might have done something wrong yeah I did like I should have just copied from variant meshes then the directory would have been rigid models projectiles and to the projectiles rigid model projectiles uh, but anyway so we'll copy the URL with variant meshes and we'll go to models.pack and I'll just open my document on my laptop so we want blank decal normal so we want this one wait do we? no we want normal and we want decal normal so just extracting, selected, pasting so we'll just make sure we've got those two uh, why are uh, different? Because this one's in caps, this one's in lowercase. Uh, we just fix that up later. So we went man, patterns, blank, and the two things we want to hear. And now, uh, whoops, we go back. And now we want some Nordic patterns. And we want core round, so all of these ones. Uh, so we'll just extract this entire folder and we'll delete the ones we don't want. So 61 of 61 extracted. Nordic, let's do images. And so we don't want core ovals, delete all those. And yeah, those are the ones we want. So now we'll go new... Um shield and we'll go to boss, we'll put the boss on first, this is like a metal thingy uh, we want at large flat, do we? yeah we want that, do we? Uh, no I only want that one really, large flat boss and we'll add the shield, which is, uh, I forgot what it's called, I think, 
round large flat ah uh, yeah that looks like it and so we'll add quite a few of these yep it's got the boss on it so now I'll just check what we've got to do I'll pause it here alright so I've realized I made a mistake um back here we should have copied and pasted this link just working data not including variant meshes so now we grab variant meshes this thing we extracted and we paste it in here to merge it with that and now you can see projectiles and pans they're all in the right spot so now we go back to the shield we created and we go to decal normal and then click these dot 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 thingies and you go to man patterns blank and you add this decal normal to it and then you add decal diffuse and you go to man patterns nordic and you go nordic core round and so there's the pattern on it and so we don't want to have to add this decal normal thing to every single one so we'll just save this and now we'll open it up with um... what do you call it? notepad plus plus and so we'll go to decal normal which is here and we'll bloody hell we'll try and highlight that if it'll let us and now we'll go to every shield and replace this bit with it and we'll save it and made a little noise it's like do you want to reload it because I've changed it and I'm like yeah and now we can see all of them have the decal normal applied and now we can apply all the different patterns so let's see all the patterns are called the same thing so we can do the same thing there we'll go back to it we'll get decal diffuse Just trying to highlight it. Ah, uh, I know we want up here, and so we'll do this one number two. Good damn. Number three. Like you get the deal. Alright, and now all of these shields have different patterns on them except this one this one uh, like doesn't have a pattern you can see so we're going to make our own and I'm not really very skilled at this I don't really know how it works but basically let's just copy this one and we'll re rename it uh, shoot for round zero one and we'll where to go we'll copy and paste that name um we don't want to open it with our hex editor we want to open it with notepad and we'll get the name core round uh actually core round five diffuse whoops uh Go around one. That sh it should work. And now we open this, and let's just paint a big happy little star on it. Uh, I've got no Photoshop skills, so this will be terrible. There we go. That looks pretty bad. 
which means it's good. We'll save it and we'll go back to the shield and we'll add that to it. There we go, nice big happy star on our shield. That looks great, doesn't it? Now we'll save this. Ah, uh, we'll go back to our dude. Where is that? Ah, oh, right, ah, uh, variant mesh definitions. Ah, uh, and we'll add the shield to him. Um, oh no, I had to exit and add the shield to him and shit, so I'll do that now. Alright, so we're back here, we'll add the shield to him. Uh, we'll make sure it's assigned to weapon bone free. Now, we could have added um, tints to these. So, like, we could have added yellow tint, um, a blue, and a red or something. Ah, uh, uh, that's a bad pan to do it on. Uh, this one should be good. So like, I know. Oh well, anyway, uh, you could we could have added like uh, tints to the shields. So we'd actually do it in tutorial shield, not in the actual unit. Uh, but I couldn't be bothered. So just make sure everything's there. Uh, he's got everything he needs. He's got his uh, missile, his weapons, his shield. Just make sure they're all assigned to the right bone. And he's got his two different types of skins. So he's finished, and but well, he's not quite finished because I haven't applied imposter models to him, and I'll just show you what it looks like if we don't apply imposter models to him. Uh, so I'll be back in a sec. Alright, so I'll just show you what it looks like if you don't add the imposter models. So we'll go to models, uh, models dot pack. We'll go to Variant Meshes, Variant Mesh Definitions. This is where, like, all the things that we've been making are stored. And we'll go down to at Germ, Germanic Nobles. And we'll copy that name. And we'll actually know this wasn't very well thought out. Fuck it. Uh, I will override our name with it. Um, go to working data, variant meshes, copy and paste this. Uh, this is quite a messy way of doing it. Go new, so we've got untitled pack, click add from directory and copy and paste the directory in there. Uh, so we've got it there. Uh, we've got template shit. Uh, this is like really a messy way of doing it. But now we'll launch Attila and we'll go to mod manager and we'll click on an, our mod and we'll play the game. Alright, now we're in the game, we'll go custom battle and the unit that I replaced with these, Germanic Nobles for the Vandals faction, the general. Uh, yep, we're just versing one guy. And this will just show us whether or not our, like, how it looks the unit. Next episode I'll actually be, like, making the unit seriously, like all the files and stuff, but this is just a quick and dirty way. And it actually, oh no, that's because we're close up. Alright, so, I'll put him there. I uh, see so you can see what I mean. So uh, you can't really see anything. Like you can just see some weird stuff. This is what the imposter model is. They're just really so like really low quality models so the unit isn't invisible. And it gets more quality. So because we don't have any imposters, they're all invisible. But when we zoom up close, because this is the actual model, you can see them. So this is how our model, our unit actually looks in game. And I'll move them around so they're actually facing the sun. So you can see them well. 
and I mean they look okay they've got the helmets uh, a lot of them are using this uh, spirally shield let's see whether our shield is in there uh, nope, none of them have our special shield with a star on it so that might be due to there's a limit to how much variety uh, a unit can have you can't have like 30 different type of shields they won't actually show that many uh, I'm not quite sure how it works um, but you can see they've got like the different types of armor they've got this padded stuff and the chain rail with the tunics and but because they don't have variant models they're all invisible so now I'll be showing you how to create the variant models I'll show you how to do the imposter models uh, first we've got to go back to our unit and rename it uh, tutorial reader and we want to reload it because I'd loaded it up and I realized uh, it showed the vanilla thing it didn't show our custom guy alright so we'll just I'll show you how to do his axe so verse and getter x axe go imposter so if it's a custom model or a model that you've got in the files here uh, so you find the thing and you so you just it's like adding your model so you just add the imposter there and it's still there then you save it tutorial raider and so now we open it up and you can see it has imposter model and the model so this is what we want to copy and paste so basically it's just a model that will show you like from a distance so but you don't want too many of these or it'll make it really laggy so for all of these axes we're just going to use the same one we'll just use Celtic axe one so we'll just add it in and we'll change we'll grab weapons and we'll put it in actually we'll just we'll grab the entire thing just to make sure alright and so there we've got it and we'll just put that in oh my god and we'll replace this imposter model because right, you don't want because uh, as I said it will just make it laggy so we save it so then we'll do um, then you can see if we go to weapons they've all got the same imposter model you can see it just says one um, then we'll do these guys as well where is the tutorial reader one so Nordic Heavy so we just uh, oh no that's a variant mesh definition so if it says um, variant mesh definition that generally means it's already got the imposters built in so you don't have to do it if it says rigid model that means you've got to do the imposters um, so we'll just grab, we'll go back and we'll just use this padded tunic thing for the thing, the model, where is it? and we'll do it for this guy as well and so then you do it for like the trousers, the beards, the helmet everything uh, so I'll do that off screen because that's heaps Just save it okay uh, I'm back I've done the imposter models for everything so if you want to check out how the imposter models work 
down here where it says quality click imposter low and so now you can see all the imposters for it so you can see both the skins they just have the same imposter I didn't do these these were already done so they look the exact same if I switch to imposter high you'll see it change so like his face changed and stuff like that guy looks quite different to that guy uh, I didn't bother with beards and I changed all the hair just to this helmet uh, I did trousers but I didn't do the belt because it's just a tiny thing you don't need like a tiny thing of those just do the big things like trousers shield body skin like and stuff like that uh, so the chainmail all the chainmail just looks the same I'll move this and I'll expand that so you, this is better uh, you can see all the chainmail is just Nordic padded one the trousers are just uh, both the trousers are the same they're just charfong uh, I didn't do any of the beards and so yeah uh, and now I'll get these in game again and I'll show you what they look like Alright, so we're in game, here's the unit in game, and now let's zoom out ages, and we zoom in, and you can see he's got imposters, so he's not completely invisible, like even zoomed out, you can obviously see there's a unit there, uh, let's try and get to the range, so like you can see there's a unit, then you scroll in, and you can see everything.